Hello, Manchescans, mga anak! Welcome back, everyone! And a big shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much! Have you been waiting for the winning recipe from the Harry Potter official baking book? Okay, now the votes are in. And we have a tie. The winning recipes are the mandrake bread and Hermione's beaded bag. So come join me in this two-part video where I'm going to bake both recipes. I'm going to make use of the ingredients and materials that I have here at home. So let's get baking! Have you noticed my apron? I made this specially for this Harry Potter baking series. The mandrake bread ingredients are in the description down below. To make the dough, we will need 2 and 1 fourth cups whole wheat bread flour, 2 cups of white bread flour, 1 teaspoon salt, a half stick of unsalted butter, firm and diced, a half teaspoon of active dry yeast, 1 fourth cup of sugar, 1 large egg beaten, 1 tablespoon vanilla extract, and one cup of warm dairy milk. For the filling, I used milk and white chocolate chips and pecans. For the chocolate garnish, some more chips, and I'm using baby bok choy for the hair. I want to use my stand mixer for kneading the dough, so I'm using the big bowl to put in the two kinds of flour. There you go. Give it a little stir, then we add the salt, stir some more, and then the butter that has been cubed goes in the bowl. And using our fingertips, we squish it in to the flour. So I think kids will have fun doing this. So just keep doing it and mixing the butter with the flour. And then we add the yeast, the sugar, plus the egg that we had beaten. Pour that into the bowl. Go ahead, yes. And then we add the warm milk, plus the vanilla. Okay, it's ready to go in the stand mixer and I'm using my dough hook. So just keep on mixing until it comes off from the side and then the dough will be ready. Just like this. I oiled another bowl where we're going to put the dough. I found some bowl covers from Dollarama and they look like shower caps, but they work really fine. So now we put it in the oven to proof for two hours. And after it has risen, we take it out and punch it down. I take out a sixth of the whole piece and then divide the remainder into three. Each of these pieces will be rolled out so that we can put in the filling. Here are the white and milk chocolate chips with the pecans. Now I pinch in the seams to lock in the filling and then flip this over so that the seams are at the bottom of the pan. Oops, some came out. Pinch that in. Now we have three that we can braid together. So we scrunch up the top, just try to make it stick, and then braid each piece. There we go. And we're forming the body of the mandrake bread. Tuck in the bottom. Yep. Just a little pinching and shaping it up to look like the picture. I'm using a spoon handle to make indentations for eyes. 
and then using the actual spoon, I form the mouth. Now the small pieces that we took out earlier are going to be the roots that are the feet and the hands. I just roll them up and cut out with my bench knife, just forming, just forming it to look like roots. What do you think? Now I tuck in the hands and the feet and getting this ready by covering with cling wrap and then putting it back in the oven to rise some more. Ooh, finally it's ready to bake. Look! Looks like a scary baby. In the oven it goes. Mandrake bread is done! Okay, putting the final touches on our mandrake bread and then you will see the final result. So we have to make do with what we have at home. I don't have any fresh bay leaves so I'm just using baby bok choy. So here's my version of the mandrake bread. What do you think? I think this mandrake bread looks kind of scary. Please let me know by commenting down below. Does it look like the photo? If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, hit that subscribe button so you will be updated on all the latest videos that are coming. Please watch out for the next one where I make Hermione's beaded bag cake. Thank you all for joining me in the making of the mandrake bread. I hope you enjoyed this baking adventure. I hope this doesn't screech when I cut into it tomorrow. Thank you for watching.